So, an opportunity presented itself, and now it's sitting here in my living room. So for those of you who don't know, I work at a vacuum cleaner store, and I have been for the last three, almost four years. And we do 95% of our revenue online, specifically with Amazon. And we sent in this unit, um, but in the blue version, at least what we thought was the blue version, on a listing. And we called back one of them because they weren't moving and found out that the wrong color was shipped in on that listing. So I think all of them are coming back now, but nonetheless, this came back to the store. Um, I, I, I never thought I would actually own this vacuum cleaner. Uh, I never sought after it or thought about buying it, but it was in my face and it's pretty much the last Panasonic upright to be produced with the Panasonic name. So I made an offer on it and here it is. So for those of you who don't know, Panasonic pulled out of the vacuum cleaner game here about four years ago, three years ago, about when I first started working at the vacuum store, I believe is when they decided to uh, pull out of the USA market at least. I don't know if that remains true for the European market, but they are done with the United States. Um, we have no idea who's making the Kenmore canisters still to this day. So that's kind of like a surprise, I guess. I, I don't know how to find out who's making them. If anyone knows, that'd be great information. Um, but this being the, uh, the last Panasonic upright, they went back to the original design, which is the Panasonic Jetlow. So it was kind of like a bittersweet goodbye to the vacuum cleaner industry for Panasonic, which is kind of nice, but also sad because if any of you have owned a Panasonic or a Kenmore, they're the same exact thing, but nonetheless, um, you know, even though you paid $200 for it, the track record proves true. You're going to have that vacuum for a good five to 10 years, no matter what it is. And that's always been a very fundamental thing about those uprights and canisters that Panasonic made. There is something about them that stands out from the rest when it comes to Walmart, Sears, Target, whoever carries them. There's always something that's going to beat the rest and they always try to add on things that are going to make your life easier and they always try to implement quality where it's needed and frivolousness where it's not. It, it, I, I don't know how to explain the company. They are really good at what they do for vacuum cleaners and it really sucks that they decided to stop making them because... They're not only nostalgic to me, but they provided a decent e economical vacuum cleaner. So if you didn't want to spend five, six hundred dollars on a vacuum, you didn't have to. You could go to Sears, pick up an upright, pick up an upright like this, or pick up a canister for you know one ninety nine and have it for a super long time. And to see that go is really alarming and really. I don't know, depressing, because that just goes to show where the market with the vacuum cleaner industry, in big box stores at least, is going. It's basically buying a box of planned obsolescence and it's depressing. So I'm just going to get off the topic because we want to remain happy here. So nonetheless, Panasonic's goodbye vacuum. Here it is. This is the green one. I wanted the blue one, but I'm happier with the green because this one is completely discontinued. The blue is still available through Still City, and you can find them online. And you can find this one online still. But once they run out, they're done with the green one. The green one's done, done, but you can still get the blue one. Anyway, so this is the most basic upright vacuum cleaner. Um, and when I say it's basic, I mean it doesn't even have a goddamn filter. Literally, the bag is the filter. It comes with the U6, U3 bag. I am going to be upgrading to polypropylene because I despise paper bags after being spoiled by polypropylene bags with Mila and Kirby. Um, the construction and quality of this unit is actually very surprising. It's a pleasant surprise, though, because I did not expect for, you know, $88 to get a vacuum cleaner that feels like an original Panasonic JetFlow. I mean, this thing is pretty decently thick for being at the price point. But then again, it is extremely basic. So you're going to get an attachment set, obviously. A crevice tool, dust brush, uh, flip-around wand, and 
quick draw wand. Um, there is a problem with this lock on the hose. You have to be careful on how you use this machine and how much you bump into because knock it right and uh, it'll do that while you're vacuuming. And believe me, it's scary as hell. It's happened to me multiple times. And the only way to really stop it is to twist the hose opposite of the lock and force it like that. So you'll have like a slight kink, but at least it won't do that. And um, for those of you wondering about the bottom, no, it does not have a metal brush roll. It has this, we'll call it composite brush roll, which has these really, really weird nylon or plastic bristles, which feel really stiff at first, but I feel like that's gonna go away after a good few years of use, um, maybe one year. And no, no rubberized wheels. You have plastic wheels across the board, plastic base plate. Do not use this on hardwood or bare floor. It'll fling shit around like it's nobody's business. And to get into the belt, you do need to remove two screws and remove these little clips here that you have to press to remove the space plate. But once again, it's kind of the, I don't know, modern jet flow. So if you remember the jet flow, that was pretty basic too. A lot of them didn't even come with attachments. So it's kind of refreshing to see that Panasonic decided to put something of quality out as their last uh, hurrah. So anyway, it's not too loud. Basic switch right up top here, just on and off. And uh, let's give it a listen. <laughs> Beautiful. I must say, it's very nice in the hand, very easy to push. Um, on my carpet, as you can see, it was kind of doing that little hop, hop, hop thing. I think that's just my carpet being stupid. But nonetheless, easy to push, easy to maneuver, um, just like the original Panasonic Jet Flows. Wonderful machine. If you can still get your hands on one, do it. If you're looking for an upstairs vacuum, or a downstairs vacuum, or a secondary vacuum, or a backup vacuum, or whatever the hell, they're a hundred bucks. I mean, if you go through Amazon, the blue one I think is a hundred bucks. This one I got for 90. So, I mean, completely inexpensive. The bags are not expensive. And uh, if, or if you're looking for a first vacuum cleaner, this would actually make a really good first apartment, first house vacuum if you have a lot of carpet. Anyway, there it is.